Crowds flocked to 107 London cinemas when a new film opened in January 1917. Eventually, more than 20 million people went to see it. Here were moving pictures of the wonder weapon that promised relief from the misery of the Somme. The important thing in t the timing of the film was that the Battle of the Somme appeared to the British very much uh, as a defeat. The army has fought for 20 weeks, and the cameramen have filmed various episodes of this, uh, and at the end there is not very much to show. A film simply called The Battle of the Ankara uh, would have dealt with the mud, the scenes of the Ankara, the devastation, and would in fact have had very little else to say. There is no victory there. But this film is not The Battle of the Ankara. This film is The Battle of the Ankara and the advance of the tanks. The first use of the tank in warfare transforms the film. It is marketed in newspapers as the tank film. Now, we know every time the tank appears in the film, uh, the audience would cheer, applaud, yell, uh, generally speaking, demonstrate their enthusiasm for this new wonder weapon. It was, after all, what they had been taught to expect. This was what the Prime Minister David Lloyd George called the great war-winning weapon. public reaction to new technology in a war is not in any way unusual. Uh, we saw it happen in the Gulf War of 1991. People became fascinated by released film and videotape of bombs with cameras in their noses. Uh, unfortunately, uh, one picture is worth a thousand facts. Uh, and in much the same way, these remarkable pictures of the tank outweighed to some extent, any rational analysis of its value. Some soldiers at the front, like poet Siegfried Sassoon, resented the public's light-hearted infatuation. The house is crammed. Tear beyond tear, they grin and cackle at the show, while prancing ranks of harlots shout the chorus, drunk with din, we are sure the Kaiser loves our dear old tanks. I'd like to see a tank come down the stalls, lurching to ragtime tunes or home sweet home, and there'd be no more jokes in music halls to mock the riddled corpses round Bapome. <laughs> 